Hi guys, so something a little different than I normally talk about or do on my channel. Um, I want to talk about my nail storage. During Christmas, I had asked for a Craftsman tool bag and my mother-in-law kind of thought I was crazy until I explained to her my idea and she was like blown away by the idea. I thought it was a really cool idea. So I decided I would share to kind of spread the idea for everybody. So how I store all my nail polish like stuff is in this Craftsman toolbox like tote bag thing. I'm not even sure what it's really called. But the nice thing about it is it holds everything. Like I'm not kidding you when I say it holds everything. I can't even tell you like I know like I um uh, I'm going downstairs to watch like a movie with Gregory and stuff like that, but I want to paint my nails and everything. I just grab my caddy and go downstairs and I have everything I need except for the only thing that doesn't fit in it is my... I use a cutting board just so I don't, can protect like the surface that I'm working on. Um, but all I have to do is grab my caddy and my cutting board and I go downstairs and I can paint my nails while we watch a movie. So let's get into what is in my caddy. First thing I have in my caddy are a roll of paper towels, and these are the paper towels that are only like half the size of a sheet, so it's not the full sheet, because when uh, I use these for like cleaning out my cuticles and stuff like that, so you don't really need a full sheet for that. I have cotton balls, I have my hand soak manicure thingy. Which I very rarely use, but I know if I take it out of the caddy, I'm going to want to use it. So I just keep it in there. I have my nail polish remover, and I use an acetone-based nail polish remover. I have my little cuppy thing that I keep my nail polish remover to clean up the edges of my nail polish. I have little nail blocks for buffing and smoothing out my nails. Cotton rounds that I kind of store for like if I have glitter or whatever that I just kind of soak in acetone and apply to the nail that has glitter on it. I have the Neat Feet Petty Bean which is actually three pieces. So it's got the like sander, the rough side, and then that stone. So it breaks down into three pieces to kind of buff your feet into happiness, which I very rarely use. I couldn't tell you the last time I used this. But again, if I take it out, I know I'm going to want to use it. Um, then I have a box of latex gloves. And as strange as this sounds, I do this because sometimes, like, I, like, I, weekly I paint my nails, my fingernails. But, like, maybe once a month or when the polish chips, I paint my toes. So, let's say I freshly paint my fingernails on, um, like, a Sunday night. And then I realize, like, Tuesday, oh, my polish is chipped on my toes. Well, you don't want to trash your fingernails. So, I just throw on a couple of uh, latex gloves and I'm good to go. I have one glass container and this has got uh, my like stick nail files, my orange sticks, some cuticle pens, and the brush I use to clean up my edges. And I use an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I just, this is what I use. Um, I have my flocking powder tweezers and I have a uh, metal cuticle stick. Then in my other container, I have a, it's a black acrylic container and it's from e.l.f. as well. It uh, says eyes, lips, and face. This has like my, oh, excuse me, my nail brushes, um, dotting tools, and more of the tool range for this. I also, then I have a bunch of um, like nail products. Um, I have uh, my flocking powder, which I just keep in there for some reason. I then have Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Nail Hardener. I have Sally Hansen's Vitamin E and Nail Cuticle Oil. Um, INM's Out the Door, which is one of my favorite top coats ever. I'm obsessed with that stuff. I have Shesh Clear, my base coat. This is the base coat I use at all times. I apply um, Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails as a base, and then I do this on top of it before applying two coats of color. 
Uh, I have the Shush Feet Fast Dry Top Coat. I have two of those. I have two NYC's Matt Me Crazy. This by far, hands down, no question about it, is the best uh, mattifying top coat I have ever dealt with. Um, when you apply it, it goes on like almost like a high gloss. So you can make sure you've coated your nail completely and as it dries, it finishes as a matte finish. Versus like um, Essie's where when you apply it, it instantly mattifies as soon as you apply it to your nail and can get you a lot of streaking. So I never have any streaking issues with these. And the best thing about this, these are $1.97. You can't beat that. Um, I have, this is my new favorite. It is Nicole by OPI's Drying Drops. These things are awesome. You, um, after you finish painting your nails and put your top coat on and everything like that, you just take a drop of it, because it's got a little dropper, like that, and you just put one drop on your nail, like right at the base of your cuticle, and it actually spreads across your whole nail, and within a minute it's dry to the touch, um, and within five minutes the polish is completely dry. So that saves me a lot of time. Um, then I have a Revlon's Quick Dry Top Coat. I have Essie's All-in-One Base Coat. I have another Shesh Clear Base Coat. And then I have an empty, uh, it was an empty Shesh Clear uh, Base Coat, but I actually put Elmer's Glue in it. And these is a good idea um, when you want to do glitter polish, like say so you want to do a full nail of glitter, but you, it takes so much cotton balls and so much acetone and everything to remove glitter. Um, a quick fix is just apply as a base coat Elmer's glue to your nail and then wait for it to dry then apply your, co uh, your color and it peels right off so it's fairly easy and uh, quick. Um, then I have Julep's top coat and I have a China Glaze top coat and then now that most of the inside is clear or emptied out. So you can see I have these little like loops. So then in those loops I keep they won't come out. <laughs> I have two stacks of glitter. These are more colored and these are more of neutral tones. Um I don't remember. I think I just went to a hobby town, like a hobby place, and just got the super fine glitter, and I just ordered, I don't remember where I ordered these from, probably eBay or Amazon. Um, they are just, I have extras over here, so like they just interlock and twist off, so you can kind of keep them nice and stacked and clean. So that is everything inside of here. Now, as if I didn't have enough in there, there's more. So now on the side of the caddy, I have, uh, it's got an elastic full side, and in there I have Q-tips for cleaning up my edges. I have um, nail strips for French tip manicures. I have, um, what are these, hole reinforcers. These are great for when you are doing uh, half moon manicures or doing like you know, French tips and stuff like that. I recommend cutting them in half because it's a lot easier to place on your nail and you get more out of your use. I have striping um, tape. I have uh, one of my Ipsy samples. These are silver nail appliques. And I have, these are actually from, I think it's Joanne Fabrics. No, I got these from Michaels. Uh, glitter nail appliques from Michaels. These were more che uh, a lot cheaper than like the Essies. And then I have the V strips, which can, you could do for like chevrons and stuff like that. Now, going to the other side, there are two elastic pouches. And in the first one, I have a foot file to file down the roughs of your feet. We have um, more nail files and some gift wrapping tape for kind of like color blocking or straight lines on uh, your nails. I then have a bunch of 
toe separators in the other pouch. Some have seen better days. <laughs> um, and then on this side, they have just little kind of adhesive, um, little Velcro strips. So you can kind of loop it around, whatever you need to. I don't really use that. I kind of just put this against the wall. So that way I have access to everything. Then on the front, there are four little pouches. And in those pouches, in the first one, I have my stamping tool, which I very rarely use because I'm kind of scared of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, so this one I got like at Target because I didn't get the Conad. Um, so it came with... I think four discs or five four or five discs um, and the thing that the disc sits in and the scraper to remove the excess and the stamp tool the instructions how to use it and then I have my brush for my flocking set and I have some julep petty cream in my next cubby, I have all my tools, um, my like nail clippers and cuticle trimmers, and for some reason I have a lot of nail clippers, like an obscene amount. I have f uh, four regular ones, I have one like angular one, and then I have two cuticle trimmers, um, two different styles. I have this one so you have a little bit of tension. And then I have this one that like lacks. This one's kind of scary. Kind of scares me. Um, in the third cube, I have all my cuticle oils. My favorite one is Sally Hansen's Instant Cuticle Remover. As you can see, I have two of these. This one by far is my favorite just because it kind of expedites the service on removing it. I have Sally Hansen's Gel Cuticle Remover. And then I have like one of these, which... Is probably just from like the salon um, and then in the fourth and final one I have my makeup sponges and um, nail for not nail files yeah nail files um dental floss picks and these are great for striping um, what you do is you uh, take your paint your na paint your nail polish and apply it to the string and uh, kind of rock it across your nail and gives you a nice striping effect. And as you all know, my makeup sponges are for my ombres. So all of that <laughs> fits in this nice and neat little storage compartment uh, caddy and makes it easy for me to take it wherever I need to go. So uh, yeah, that is how I do my nail storage. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the uh, comments below. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye! A Craftsman toolbox. Well, not a toolbox, more like a tool bag. And... Why is that getting all crazy? What's it going on? Why are you yelling at me? Okay. Okay. Hi darlings, so why is that thing flashing? Uh, I don't know, okay. Regardless, I'm gonna stop paying attention to the screen. Okay. Hi darlings. <laughs> Apparently this is something I'm doing now.